and welcome to The Late Show. I'm one of your co-hosts, David Berg. And I'm Melissa Kaplan. And we're here tonight with Or Ayash. Hey. Or, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, no problem. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? What's your major? Sure. I'm from Philadelphia. Uh, my major is International Studies and Jewish Studies double major. I just got back from a semester abroad in Tel Aviv University. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. Can you tell us more about your study abroad trip? Sure. Uh, I got there in late July. I was there till late January, and it was the best six months of my life. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, was this the, your first time in Israel? No, I was actually born in Israel. Oh. And I have a lot of family there. I uh, go quite often, but it was just a different experience all around. Mm -hmm. What, um, what was different about your experience studying abroad versus having traveled there? Yeah, great question. Um, honestly, it was more of an independent kind of trip for me. Usually I go with family or on uh, organized trips through school or other places. Um, and this was more independent. I got to learn what I wanted, and I was really studying what I was interested in. Were you upset that you had to leave in the middle of the summer, though? Not at all. Not at all? Summer's still going in Israel. Oh. Yeah, Israel's the best place for <laughs> Exactly. The Great beaches, beautiful weather. Did you go swimming a lot? Every day. Every day? Yes. What, did what, what did you go to the Dead Sea? I, I know when I went to Israel. I did go to the Dead Sea, sea a couple cool. times. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. What were your classes like? Were they harder than Muhlenberg classes? or were they? Much like, easier than Muhlenberg classes. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I, hear I miss them. I trend for studying abroad, that the classes are not as rigorous. Yeah, definitely. I, some people take it for granted, you know, I just took it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. um, what were the classes you took over there? Were they related to your major? Yeah, every class I took actually counted towards my major. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. A lot of Israeli politics classes, Jewish studies classes, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So what's it like being back now? You're back in Allentown. Is it, how is it different than Yeah, I've been back for like three, four months now. But uh, it's good, it's good. Um, How's it been getting used to being back? The time change was really a struggle for me for the first two months, because it's a seven hour time difference. Mm -hmm. So two months I just had jet lag. Uh, the weather is also terrible here compared to Israel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of snow, no more sun, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. And so what, what classes are you taking this semester? Anything related to your major? Yeah, I'm taking uh, theories of international relations, a um, couple Jewish studies classes, and one more Jewish studies class, I think. Mm -hmm. I've been told your brother and sister both graduated here. Is that that is true. I'm the youngest of three. You're the youngest of three. Oh, what do um, what do your um, siblings do now? My brother is at graduate school at Johns Hopkins, oh, wow. um, and my sister just joined the Israeli Army, actually. Wow. Yeah. So did you know you were always going to go here because um, both your siblings did? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much? Um, I didn't really have much of a choice. Oh. No, no, that's not true. I looked around, but Muhlenberg was definitely the place for me. Mm -hmm. you can't, did you know what you wanted to major in? No, that's what I love about liberal arts colleges. You know, you just can experience every class and really zone in on a subject you love. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So is there well, anything else you do on campus? Yeah, I'm actually in uh, Delta Tau Delta. I'm the president of the fraternity. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, what's, um, what's the fraternity like about? Because I never heard of this fraternity. Oh, yeah, we're a social fraternity. Um, uh, it's all men, and we just are a great group of guys who support each other. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. So, uh, are you getting excited? You're almost a senior. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Time flies. Yeah. Good. What about you? Are you getting excited? I am also getting excited. I, We've I, been together since freshman year. We have been together since freshman year. We lived on the same floor. And it's, it's pretty crazy that we're here now. I really wanted to come on today uh, to ask you about the plumbing issues that are happening in Prosser. The plumbing issues? I've not <laughs> I know that we were together in Prosser okay. and there were some plumbing issues, but... Uh-huh. Is there current plumbing? Issues? Yeah. They haven't, they haven't fixed it. They haven't fixed any of the plumbing? And yeah, I wanted to talk about that because okay, so Muhlenberg hasn't really done anything. I've sent some so inquisitions about it, but I, I can't answer these plumbing right. uh, questions. I can... I guess that's what the news is for. I guess that is what the news is for. <laughs> but I don't... I haven't heard any... Um, we can do some investigative journalism. Perfect. Uh, and I will get back to you about Thanks. this plumbing issue in Prosser. Thanks. So I just want to say thank you so much for coming on today. Uh, I'm one of your co-hosts, David Berg. I'm Melissa Kaplan. And I'm Laura Ayosh, another co-host. Nope. <laughs> uh, thanks, Muhlenberg. Stay classy. <laughs>